Winter is coming, well, eventually, and as temperatures start to drop, it's time for you to get prepared for the colder months by testing the heat mode on your HVAC. Now, before we continue, we want to point out that the following steps do not replace the need for your system to be serviced by a qualified professional. The guidance outlined in this video is meant to help you proactively test your system's heat mode before it is needed in the coming weeks. Also, you do not want to perform this test if the outside temperature is warmer than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That being said, let's begin. First, you'll want to check your air filter. Although this is not required when testing your heat, you should get in the practice of checking it every one to three months, depending on the air quality in your home. If the filter is at the unit itself, we recommend turning the system off to prevent it from accidentally being sucked into the blower fan. After you've checked it and turned the power back on, go ahead to your thermostat and set the system to heat. You can do this by turning the thermostat to heat and raising the threshold temperature past the current inside temperature of your home. Also, make sure you turn off your smart features first, as they might conflict with what you're trying to do and the heat won't come on. If you have an automatic zone damper system, as shown here, then you will want to switch all thermostats to the heat mode. Remember, this test should be performed on every zone you have in the house. Once this is done, go back to the unit if it's accessible. You should start to hear the process of the pilot light being lit and gas entering the burners. If you hear a whooshing sound or a slight bellow, this is normal. In the event the system never turns on or turns off after 60 seconds, you'll want to contact an HVAC professional. Once lit, it should only be a couple minutes before you start to feel warm air coming out of the vents. At this point, you've confirmed that the heat mode is functional and working, and you can switch it back to the previous setting. Please note that working and working efficiently are not always the same thing. To extend the life of the system, it is best to have a professional do a full inspection on a regular basis. Thanks for watching, and please check out some of our other home maintenance videos.